see how this goes. Mike, can you hear us and can you join in? Hello, hello. Do you have us? Yes. Yes, we do. We do. Awesome. Have a look at the screen. All right. So, um, I'll just give a bit of background introduction to everyone. So one of the things that we look for, we like about the cyber community, me and Shanna, is the way that we're very inclusive of everyone. So we're not just talking about different, uh, you know, people. We're also talking about ages and that sort of thing. So what we've done is we've asked Mike and his lovely kids to, um, who I'm sure some of you have seen at other events, um, to give us an introduction and an overview of Locksport, which I believe is quite a... It's a common thing. I know that Silvio and a few other people, Moff, if he's here, are very into it. And I know that these girls have learned from them as well. So um, thank you very much, guys. Okay. Thanks, guys. I hope you can hear us clearly. We've got a video and we've got some slide decks we're going to step through. Let's just pop that in presenter mode. Okay. So thanks for having us. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Um, we're here to present. Uh, Intro to Lock Sports. So we'll do a few intros very quickly. Uh, we have here Layla and her internet name, aka is Marshmallow. Excellent. And we've got Ruby or Rubes, and her a internet safety name is Jailbreak. Bit louder. Jailbreak. Cool. Mm -hmm. oh, we've got a little fella, Jake. <laughs> we've got a little guy who uh, I think he's getting a bit shy, but this is Jake Boy, aka Eminem. <laughs> <laughs> and you got myself, I'm Mike, so I'm... Uh, okay, big daddy. <laughs> yeah, big daddy. So uh, I'm Layla, Ruby and Jake's uh, dad. So guys, how did we get into uh, learning how to pick locks? Well, I learned... A bit louder. I learned at B-side when me and my dad went, and it was my first ever security conference actually going there. Cool. And what about you, Ribs? How did you start learning to pick locks? Mm, at Kids Security Day in Melbourne. Kids Security no, Day and also in Melbourne, yeah. Cool. So, yeah, look, um, I've been picking... Yeah. Oh, hello, Mr. Jake. This is Jake Boy, a.k.a. Uh, Eminem. Eminem. <laughs> um, so, look, I, I work in cybersecurity. We go to local security community meetups. Um, I sets. learned how to... InfoSec, um, security conferences like B-Sides Canberra, uh, OzSecCon in Melbourne. Uh, there's a really cool initiative, Kids Security Day, so for our sort of junior and up and comings. Um, and I work in cybers, so kind of natural that the kids wanted to do what I do. With an yeah. S, not a Z. <laughs> <laughs> With an S, not a Z. Hey, Mike, I don't think your slides are showing right now, so if you want to just share the slides. We certainly can. Let's just go to share screen. Let's go PowerPoint. Dad, you have the wrong Just a minute, son. Okay, how's that? Fantastic. Thanks, mate. Lovely. All right, so just quickly, intro to Lock Sports. Um, we've got AKA Layla, who's uh, Marshmallow. Marshmallow, Marshmallow online, her safety. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Yeah, you can go too, mate. And we've got Rubes over here, AKA, AKA Jailbreak. Yeah, jailbreak. And me, aka Eminem. Mm, Eminem. <laughs> Excellent. And, um, and I'm Mike, so and I'm. Uh, and aka Big Mike. That'll do, that'll do. Cool. So, this is just a slide that we were going through, but um, the kids and I go to local security community groups and, um, you know, InfoSec here in Canberra. Um, we ventured down to Melbourne for OzSecCon, which is quite I cool. Um, and we got Kids Security cool. Day, um, and I work in cyber, so yeah, let's go next. So here's some examples of the kids. You know, you can, <laughs> grandma, grandpa can pick locks, mum and dad. Uh, anyone, anyone, anyone can, can do it. Literally, so, I tried to pick, teach Cooper. So look over here. <laughs> I don't he couldn't really do it anyway. No, he couldn't get the barrel. Yeah. So yeah, here's a couple of conferences that the kids have gone to over sort of the last. You're all too really enjoying it. Okay, guys. So, can anyone pick a lock? Isn't that illegal? Yeah, it yeah. sort of is illegal. Okay. I mean, but who can pick locks then? Well, anybody, anybody can. can pick if and they know how to do it. Okay. And what are the rules around picking locks, guys? So, you only, don't pick, go, only pick locks at home and don't pick them. And the only lock you really pick is a. Uh, 
practice, practice lock, lock or, uh, yeah. or, uh, um, or a harder lock. Cool. And so will we pick the lock at home, like our front door lock? No. no. Probably not. Because if cause... you break it. Because, like, yeah, you can break it. <laughs> yeah. That would be a really good one. So a couple rules, yeah, it's not illegal to pick locks. We use practice locks and um, as you can see in the bottom there, we get those from local security chapters like InfoSec. You can get them online at PickPals, uh, Amazon, and they're just very cheap. Yeah, tools. They're just cheap or you practice can win locks. Them. Or, you or you can win, can win them. them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Next it's really important not to pick your front door lock because it's a lock you depend on. Um, lock you depend on, keep you safe. That's right. <laughs> but the kids can pick locks. Um, you know, you can get a practice lock and you can teach them. It's a really cool family thing. And the more you do it, the more addicted you become. Yes, it's true. <laughs> it is true. Okay. Then so, I you first. let's go through some of the tools, guys. We've got a tension wrench. Yeah. A pick. A pick, which I and think Rudy has. This is a pick. Yep. And, and, then, and then, then we have a wrench. And then we have a wrench. And then we have a wrench. And we have a wrench. A wrench. tool? I think that's cool. A pick exactly. So, let's step through. What makes up a lock? Well, we've got inside the lock, we've got key. the cylinder, which is the part that you put your key in. Yeah, just point to the cylinder for me. Yeah, cool. And we've, we've got, got our pins, pins or right. these. And our, is in that one up there? And drive, also known as our um, other pins. Upper or other pins, yeah. There. Um, pins. Have, um, and then we've got our key. springs. Yeah. And, and that's a, and a lock. And, a, and, and then uh, and then we've got the key. Uh, you know, you sitting... We've got the key. And then we had a real lock and a real key. And then... Go Rooks, next done. slide. So Pad we can lock. pick old padlocks. If we've got old padlocks laying around at home that mum and dad um, don't need to use anymore. This is just a picture of it as one that you could pick. Yeah, it's an don't, example. Don't, don't. Then that's not being used. Don't, don't, don't. And we've got our deadlock. So it's a different type of lock, the deadlock, isn't it? Because yeah. we can't get yeah. to the padlock in the back. The, yeah, we don't know what's on the it's other like, side. And like, then, like, sort of, like, it's like it's like a deadlock, sort of like one that's mm -hmm. in your like in your door. Yeah. Yeah. But the mechanism themselves are all the same, aren't they, guys? Yeah. So what we've got yeah, here cool. is a schematic or a diagram showing mm -hmm. the lock, the keyhole. And, and you can just see the bottom pins there, can't yeah, you guys? Just see it there. Yeah. Okay. What's it look like inside? Here you go, man. Well, we've got got the spring, the that thing up the top. Then we've got the the pins. I mean, we got the spring, up the spring, the upper, upper pin, pin, which is the blue one, and then the pin. Yep. Which is so the this red one's line. the pin, the upper pin's the blue one, and, and the spring is the, the one up the top, top that's like top. goldeny. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. So bronze. what would happen? What would happen if we try and open this without a key? We're gonna have a look. Yeah. go. So we attempt to open it without the key. What happens to those pins? They go all. They get into a. Uh, remember the word? I can. I can show you. They get into a bind. Mm, and so bind. that's where the upper pin is getting a bind right. against the barrel and the housing. Mm -hmm. mm. So that's what happens. You can see that diagram just oh subtly there. Um, how that upper pin is getting stuck in a bind. If you can see how it's moving, if you look at it very gently, yeah. you can actually see it move. So let's have a look. At the next slide. Let's see how it operates with the key now. If we put the key in, which is just so easy, <laughs> yeah. what happens to those pins? They move with the spring when you push the key in, yeah. and then you twist it and it unlocks. So we align the upper pins and the lower pins. This is the pin stack that. where, Still. as you can, as you yeah, know, your key yeah. is all got jagged parts on it. Do you know, you know why? Because all your pins are different levels. So if you have a jagged key, it means that the pins are all different levels. Perfect. Let's go to the next okay, side. Okay, let's go to the next side. So let's have a look at this side view. Yeah. What you'll see now is the pins not getting into a jam or a bind. And the kids will just go to that. So, as side. you can see, there's a little smiley face. No, 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 no. So, what happens now, guys? The upper pins and the lower pins are. So, if you put a key, you're not binding. If you binding. just put it in, like it's doing right now, see how the pins go up and down? And they, they go into they? the proper face. 
perfect. Okay. Yeah. Now, guys, this is the favorite bit. You guys don't like using keys, do you? No. no. Okay. So we like using keys. Let's go to the next slide and have a look. So you put so this using this is a tension wrench that's already in there. Yep. See how that one says. So we can see bang. it's in a bind. It's in a bind. That pen. Oh, da, 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 da. Ready? Just a minute. So I'm gonna pick one for you. So we I just... think you see gonna pop it already. <laughs> Oh. Keep breaking. We'll show them in a minute. Woo! <laughs> anyway, so we're in a so bind I'm gonna there. Pick it with and we're a just really lifting hard the one. pins. It's got a circle on the end. We're taking that second pin out of a bind. Yep. And now we can see that third pin right at the back, back. of the barrel is in a bind. So, yeah. so this technique's called yeah, the lifting technique. It. It's not raking. No. But it's later lifting. on, the girls will actually show you a raking technique. Yeah, like that. So we're aligning the top pins and the bottom pins in the barrel. Take the bind away. So as you, can you speak? Yep, so just up here for the viewers. Just coming a bit closer. Ooh. There you go. And as you can see with that tension wrench now, we can open that oh, barrel up. Yeah. The wrench wrench fell out. <laughs> okay, so that's using a lock pick with a lifting technique, isn't mm -hmm. it, guys? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's look at lifting. If you can hear this sound. Okay, that's raking. I did. Yeah, that's this is raking. raking, not lifting. Perfect. I did. I think I did breaking. So this technique yeah. now is lifting, but we, we can also rake. Rake, like. And yes. so, if you can do it a bit closer to the screen, if you can hear on that microphone, you can hear the kids just raking the pins so gently. Oh, like that, and then you pick it. Put a little bit of tension on there. So as just, you pick it, just, just with it. the tension wrench, just pull it, do that until you can hear it flip. So it does like that. that, and then you like click that. it. I just clicked okay. it without oh, that. Sit back here. Uh -huh. And well, if you sit down here, you better just. Oh, I'm clicking it without even raking. Look, Perfect. ready? Look, that is a raking tool. So this is raking again. <laughs> Lifting. I'm not, kids are raking. I'm not even using the raking tool. Ready? Right. Look. Now this, this is a raking, raking tool. This is it's raking. got jagged so you can actually up and down edge. so you can break it. And then that's how you unlock it. Beautiful. So with the wave tool, we're raking the pins so gently and putting just enough tension on the barrel. <laughs> as Ruby <laughs> on just the did. Cylinder. On the cylinder. And um, that <laughs> takes all the pins out and And then you end up doing this. They don't get fine. <laughs> like we end up doing this. <laughs> all right, sit down. Next cool. slide, Daddy. Well, the next oh, slide is a live slide demo. demo. So we've gone through a few techniques. Um, I'm going to give credit. This is all open source material. So it's found on tools.us. Um, uh, Diviante Olum is an uh, awesome guy that's helped build this uh, content up. And it's open and available to present at demonstrations like this um, and at, at community uh, events all around Australia. It's true. Okay, guys. So... Let's do a live demo. Let's do a live demo. Before we okay. show you the potato thing, <laughs> okay. Saying something. Okay. So, Layla, I want you to put your okay. lock, your demo lock up here. I'm going to hold Not it for demo, a moment. Yeah. Take out your pick and your tension wrench. So, again, these are just practice locks which you can get online on eBay. Uh, you can get for like them. two bucks. <laughs> <laughs> you can get them on Amazon. Please see it. Um, and. Hello. One thing that we get a lot of questions of is, can you travel with picks? Now, you can't take them in carry-on luggage into aeroplanes. Um, it's all online. You can check with TSA if you're traveling to the States, to hacker cons and things of that nature. You can put them in your pack luggage. Um, I think the rules have changed slightly because they're within a certain um, size limit. You can take them on carry-on, but we need to you know, encourage you guys to certainly jump online, check the local rules for the countries or states and territories you're heading to. All right, Layla. <laughs> Let's take anything. that out. So we've just got a practice lock here and we're going to get Layla to show us her oh, what can I do? lock picking tool. First what have you got? I've got a tension wrench. Cool. And what's this guy? And I've also got a rake. Yeah, a wave tool. I think our first tool. thing we got to do is get the tension wrench and figure out which way our barrel's going. Found out which way. Cool. Oh, I already found out. And then we put our pick in with the bump Just to that on the dot there. With the bump on facing the pins yeah. in. Rake a little, rake a little, put more, put a bit little tension on the roof. So just be real quiet. Wrench. Everyone's 
everything has come together both from a community Hey Mike, can you um just stop the screen share and maybe we can get some full screen of this? Yep. Let's just that's why. Thank you. Uh, let's go back oh. one. Keep writing. Okay, can you see full screen now? So just over here, just Keep write writing. quietly. That's it. Just keep on working. So if you can hear with the audio, hopefully it's good enough. You can hear those pins raking up and down. And Layla's just putting enough. I just enough, it. Yeah. She's putting just enough tension on it to take it out of a bind. Ready, set, Geronimo! Yeah. Oh. Well done. <laughs> okay. We've got our last slide, which is... Uh, <laughs> Just a potato. Thank you for watching. <laughs> we'll just see if you guys can see that one. <laughs> Green sharing still up. <laughs> the girls and I want to thank you for, uh, for the opportunity to present and for watching. They were a little bit shy, but... Um, yeah, when? We had a little <laughs> chat about this over the last week or two. And... Just go back okay, I'm hungry for lunch. Beautiful. Um, yeah, we convinced the kids to practice a bit and um, we're going to do this Q&A yeah, type I'm session. Yeah. There's links included in that slide deck, so a lot of the open source material, uh, yeah, where you can find demo locks, uh, where you can get small kits. Do you want to just show them the kit? Uh, you can get a normal one that has... Where'd you get this one from? This one? This one... Dad got when we first got um a lock. First one with the yeah. Locks, yeah. And then the second two, which is an eight and a fourteen. Yes, yes. Me and my father won. Excellent. Look, guys, we're probably a little bit under time. No, we. Oh. No, you guys are you guys are doing really good time. Thank you very much. Um, I think we could probably do a couple of the questions from the room actually, if you want. Yeah. Um, oh, actually, no. Apparently, we need to see the last slide first. Yes, not a problem. Uh, there is a request to see the last slide because I know that there were some modifications made to it. Let's go and pop that up. So the kid wanted to put something fun up to say thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Can we see that one? You'll need to share the screen. Let's just get screen sharing. There we go. And with that, thank you. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you very much, guys. Look, I, I know, um, Mike, it's always really exciting when I see you and we catch up for lunch and you show me another video of your kids like lock picking or breaking into something, something they've been told they can break into. I'll, I'll, I'll have that piece. But then again, I'm also never telling you where I live. Um, <laughs> It is scary how quick these kids pick up on it. We, it's okay. You don't have to pick up right now. Um, you know, for example, we're at OzSecCon in Melbourne, and it's an industrial um, uh, industrial art centre. So, actual locksmiths learn to pick locks there. And these two guys, and then even Jakey Boy, were up the back picking locks, and they're just popping locks like no one's business. And because they're so young and just curious, there's no pressure. There's no um, you know, preconceptions. So they're just so relaxed. They pop locks so easily. Mm. Um, and they know the rules, you know, it's, it's really, really important mm. that if mum and dad or grandma and grandpa are going to, you know, get a practice lock and, and hang out with the kids or the grandkids, have some really clear ground rules. These guys mm. know they can't just go up to a house and pick locks. They know if there's an old lock on the ground or if there's, you know, an old lock in the garage, they can ask mum and dad, and they can have a crack at picking it. So it teaches them, um, you know, responsibility. responsibility, responsibility, boundaries. And I think a lot of that kind of stuff is very relevant for things like the internet now as well, Absolutely. you know, going and accessing the internet when, you know, mum and dad are not necessarily there and, and, and those sort of things. Sure, so fun. thank you very much the three of you. So, um, I know, uh, Unfortunately, we did promise the three of them some hoodies. Um, they haven't arrived yet, but I promise that they will arrive this week and I will come and drop them off for you um, so that you guys can, we'll get a photo of you guys in your, uh, your nice little hoodies um, showing off your, uh, your lock picking skills as well. So thank you very much guys for presenting. Thanks for having us. We appreciate it. And we'll talk to you over the next few days.
No worries, mate. Thank you.